I've just dragged him out of the Black Friday sales. Good afternoon, Steve Davis. It is delightful bedlam out there. It's good to see the city alive. It is. It's great. Finding a park. Oof. Yeah. Anyway. So where did you walk from? Oh, um, what's it called? Uh, South, Fever- t- South Terrace. I was going to say Feverton. <laughs> South Terrace, Mitcham. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's it's excellent. So there is life pumping through this city. That's what is, we need. It is. And uh, I have, talking of pumping and life and everything, I'm getting into the healthy lux of your skin today, Richard Pascoe. Right. Okay. You ready? It's, it's a great... It's a, it's Intro, we can't go back from now. So we can't, yes. no. No, we can't. Uh, this well, is part of us talking about small business. It is. And uh, this week I'm doing a profile on a small business person, and the person is Barbara Gare, and she runs a cosmetics com- company here in SA, yep. everything manufactured locally, uh, called Y Natural. That's the letter Y, natural. Well, good name. It's good, <laughs> yes. Yeah, why natural? Well, oh, well, why not? Why not? That's what my How kids How many lines say. can we do for that? Yes. We should send a cheerio to her, by the way. Currently, she's at Walker Flat where they've got a property. Yep. They are sandbagging, you know, removing carpets, getting ready for oh, the Oh, Barbara, you, uh, our thoughts are with you. Yeah. I was up in the Riverland uh, during the week giving a you talk were. to businesses um, up there, and it, it's... I think once you drive up there and you see the the rate of flow in the Murray, yeah. it's it's you know and how it's slowly creeping up the banks and a lot of the tributaries running off yeah. uh, are all full now. Wow! You should have just driven to Murray Bridge and hired a speedboat. It can only go four knots on the river now. Oh, really? Yes. Hmm. There you go. Yeah. All see right. the things you learn here on Five Double Eight. Save. Anyway. Well, that's the way I read it, people. Four knots. So, so I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be there next month at four knots. Let me steer this back on course. Okay. Um, so, uh, Barbara. I met Barbara in 2016. She was on my podcast, The Adelaide Show. Yes. And she gave me a facial, Richard. Okay. Yep. Uh, and what, Real men can have facials. Okay. You should have seen. I, my fa- I was in shock at how much gunk came out of my skin. Sorry right. if anyone's eating yes. at the moment. <laughs> Apologise for lunch, but um, yes. But it was an amazing um, interview and a glimpse into this woman who is driven by passion and science. Like, she is on guard. She she has all the chemistry, all the science behind her, and she's not one of those people who say, oh, you know, if it's natural, it's good, or if it looks a bit complicated, it must be bad for you, because sometimes things that are natural have really complicated names, but they're perfectly harmless, and there are things that are natural, like arsenic, that are really bad for you. So <laughs> yeah, she she knows her science. She's grounded in the stuff, and that the core message of why natural is she wants stuff that's not only good for our skin, because a lot of stuff we put on our skin is bad, but she said it's not a thing where we should be skin deep. It's when it goes down the drain in your shower. Yeah. The bad stuff hasn't stopped. No. And that's why petrochemicals, things like that in your, in your shampoos and, and face creams, you've just got to take it seriously. But let's wind into her life first because, uh, if you looked at her when she was a young teenager, um, you wouldn't have picked her as someone who was going to move into the cosmetic industry. Because Is it insulting me, Steve. <laughs> well, I think it's count. It's it's a love. It's setting up the drama of the story. Right, okay, then. Yep. Um, I mean, she did have her sleepovers with the girlfriends and the makeup, and but she wasn't a girly girl. She was um, into a lot of running, a lot of outdoor stuff, uh, cross country camping, cross country skiing. So for a lot of her teenage years, she'd be out there in the wilderness, days on end not doing anything with the hair, not even being near a mirror. Putting nothing on the skin. Putting nothing on the skin. Mm, yes, except the the bracing cold air as she whips around the place. Um, Barbara, you should have had sun, sun, sunscreen on. Well, look, she might have. I she didn't actually have. go down. The, see, this is why we need your journalistic intrigue <laughs> when I do my prep. I could have asked the gotcha questions. <laughs> Give us a call, Barbara. Let us know if you had sunscreen on. But anyway, let's, but we do start seeing a glimpse of where she got to today because her first job out of uni was, now remember, this is someone whose university studies were all about environmental studies, scientific studies. Her first job, an oil and gas company. <laughs> Right. And so, but she was entering it because she wanted to be a change agent. She wanted to work for change from the inside to get them to improve their practices, etc. And, um, didn't turn out that way. So she left. But along the way, guess what? You know that saying, 
did you uh, did the earth move for you? Have yes. you heard of that? Yes, I have heard of that, Steve. Yes. Well, she Surprise, was someone. but yes. She, your fingers on the button, I noticed. <laughs> um, she had the job of measuring how much the earth moved. So she was a geophysicist. Oh, okay. So as they go down through the bedding planes, they have to work out, well, if we've dug here and we take this out, how's that going to impact to that? Re- it's a, there affect you go. the environment. Yes. So at a different time lot, we could have had a, a lot of fun with some of that, but we'll move on. Uh, so she left there and was a bit disillusioned because she couldn't affect change in that industry, did some more study and took up international studies, German, Chinese, Spanish. And she had this calling. She, she wanted... She was originally a scientist of the world. She wanted to make the world a better place. Now she wanted to be a better citizen. So she understood how all the different countries work together. And that's when she moved into business and started getting these ideas with the Y Natural Company because everything's connected, you know, from the commerce of selling it to sourcing to all those sorts of things. So let's look at a couple of her, I don't know, quirky glances into her world because scent the scent of something, the aroma, very important in cosmetics. But it's not the primary focus for her. So here's the thing. They use all natural ingredients which need clever tricks using natural uh, uh, methods to keep them preserved because they can't just put the artificial stuff in to prop out the life. And she's got this beautiful thing she uses at the moment, but it gives everything a bit of a scent that's a, a mixture between vanilla and some of that nutty marzipan flavour, which is quite a delicious oh, base. Okay. Yeah. But it doesn't blend well with other fragrances. So it's it's like it, it's a bully. Like it, it, right. it, it controls. Anyway, so they only choose stuff that has something in it that will help our skin. And the soft hand and body lotion is one where how's this? You like wine tasting? Yes. How would you like a, a wine tasting like experience every time you lathered your body with lotion? Mm. There we go. So what happens is this. It hasn't got much of a scent in the bottle, and you smooth it over your skin, and as the temperature rises and interacts, different layers of aroma are given, and it changes. She says she's got people who love this because they just love that slow, sensual experience of the different smell after different smell as the the temperature rises. So it reacts with your body. Yes. Yeah. All natural, but different different parts of it, you see, get activated at the different temperature levels. Right. And so it might smell a little bit more berry and, and citrus over here, then it might shift a bit. It's fascinating. Yeah. I mean, it's not like throwing links all over your body, which just hits you between the eyes. This is a little more subtle. Don't use links. <laughs> you don't? No. Anymore. Um, <laughs> the other thing is, now, um, if, you, if you're near your bathroom at the moment, have a look. Go and grab a, a tub, a, a tube of something and... I asked her for one ingredient which would make sure is not in what we use. PEG or PPG. So look for PEG or PPG because what that is, are you ready, is polyethylene glycol. And she said it's just this gunky byproduct of the the petrol process, the petrol making process, to stabilize the product and make it a bit gooey and solid so that if you're using this your cosmetics in the antarctica or in the equator where the temperatures are different it doesn't go thin or go hard it sort of stays and that's inside this stuff that comes from the byproducts of turning the crude into petrol wow which okay. we put, a, put in our i've spirits. heard it goes well on a barbecue but that's fine <laughs> <laughs> um no it's a joke but i've got a, i've got something in my pocket for you are yep. you ready yep i'll, I'll toss it Okay. okay, here we yes, go. Can we catch? Go. I'm yep. going to throw it over. That's what I use every morning. 200 buff marine skin polish. Yep. It's a little thing because a lot of skin scrubs and polishes, they've got little synthetic beads in yeah. them, which go down the drain into the um, uh, marine environment. They, you know, kill things. They make life hard for all the environment. This is granulized um, seaweed extract. So okay. it's natural cellulose. So it scrubs the skin, but then, of course, it's perfectly innocuous when it goes out through the drain. Put some on. Squeeze a little bit on your finger while I finish off. And just here's what you do. You put just a little bit on your finger. You need to give it a big tap from up above because it's almost empty, that one. Just tip it up. Go for it. Be bold. You're not going to break anything, Richard. We should get a photo of this too, Blake. Um, so, <laughs> And just put a bit of it on your cheek. And look, you look, 
younger, you'd be able to do a kid's show next that, that, weekend. That cheek looks really good now. So. <laughs> Can you smell it? Smoke I don't get booked for many kids' shows. Have a... Have a yeah, it does it. Mm. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? This too. That smells like the beach. Now you know what I'm experiencing every morning in the shower, Richard. Anyway, this... <laughs> It's a natural scrub. I just wanted to give you that that taste and try before you buy uh, example. So here's the thing. I'll just finish off with this. Um, one thing that resonates deeply, because I've known her for a while, we've had beat deep chats. There's a lot of memes people share about women supporting other women businesses or support local businesses in SA. She says, sadly, a lot of people mouth that stuff, but they don't, don't actually do follow through. Spot on. And she, one thing she struggles with, and this is why I wanted to bring it up in this segment, there's a lot of small business owners in the same boat. Their friends will say, yeah, 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 no, we, we want to support. But do they buy what they make or do they just get something else? And so she finds it really hard to go to friends' dinner parties because you go to the bathroom and the friend's just been saying, oh, yeah, yeah, we love you. How you doing? How's your business going? Yes. All of that sort of things, yeah. And inside there are all the stuff that, and this is the clincher, and this is a, a bit of another bugbear for small business, people are oh, a bit too expensive. She sees the stuff in there. She knows the price point. It's the same, if not more, than hers. And so her message is, look, if you know someone, obviously her for her business, but other ones, in her case, you might buy this every three months, you know, Go that extra mile and support a local business. It makes a huge difference. She pays taxes here. She hires people here. She's got a team around her. And so as I was with the treasurer on Thursday, Brand SA coming back, that's great, but it can be a little bit easy to say, oh, yeah, we love Brand SA. We don't. The money has to be where the mouth is. It does. Otherwise, it's just a talk fest. It does. Yeah. So anyway, um, that's a bit of a journey into her world going through that. And to see a business, it's great to meet a business person just principled. Yes. Yeah. Principled. Rock solid. Like I kid you not. Well, I hope I meet her one day. Yeah. It'd so be I great. Was, yeah. She should come in one day and give you a quick facial on air. We could do that on a Saturday afternoon. Yep. No. So it's more akin to TV, but the radio's fine. We can, you know, we can get around that. Oh, I made lots of noises when she was giving me one on the podcast because I'm not used to that sort of thing. I'm sure you <laughs> did, Steve. I, I, I was, go on. Yeah, no, I was going to say, whynatural.com.au is her website, yep. all this stuff. And if you want to find out a local um, uh, distributor, um, info at whynatural.com.au. Which is good. And it's Y as a letter Y yeah. on there. And um, nicely made, nice manufacturer on the product as well. Yeah. No, really, really do enjoy it. Off tangent, just for, yes. a sli- just for slightly, because I had... Um, couple of things during the week Uh, because you're into websites Mm -hmm. um you help people bob the murder man's coming on later and and we're tidying up his website at the moment aren't you steve yes you know for him um what people might not realize is that websites need maintaining absolutely there is a thing like an engine in the back and if you don't maintain it what happens steve it falls over doesn't it it does for two reasons one the other bits of the internet have moved on and changed and the technology your site is, runs out of puff and can stop working. But secondly, if it's been around a while, some crooks get better at working out how to hack it. And if you haven't applied the latest version of something which has sharper security, you're easy prey. And should you back up your website? I already know the answer, folks. <laughs> Let me guess. Uh, yes, of course you should. Yes, you should. Now, if you if you just go out there, you're a business or, you know, you're, you're a homeowner and decide to go along and put up a website, there is a maintenance part in there. If you can't do it, you get somebody else to do it for you. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I had an instance during the week, so somebody's website went down. Yeah. All the complaining in the world about it, why it wasn't, took three hours to get it all back up. They said you should have done that in the first place. No, no, on there. So it's your it's your website. It's your responsibility to go along and do it because you know it's it's it is. It's like you get your car serviced. Yep. You know, at websites. You need to go in there and make sure that all the bells and whistles are all done. It's more common than you would. Well, you would know. It is really common. I just had to rescue a business in Melbourne where the person they had, because they treat it like it's um, not a serious part of the business. The website seems ethereal. Spot on. They got uh, some person, but then they fell out with them and they moved on. So that person has all the access and nothing was updated. 
they had so much hacking uh, injected code on their site set with links to Chinese websites, to porn websites, all on them, and no access themselves. Yeah. They didn't know how to do And yet it, it could have been an ounce, this, this thing, the ounce of prevention is better than a cure. It is. I yeah. thought I'd just throw that in at the end. Oh, great. Now I'm all, I'm going to need some, can you give me the hand, the, the lotion back? I'm going to have to give myself go, a And he caught it, folks, yeah. when I threw it all back to him. <laughs> Steve, where can we find out more about you? Oh, look, just hop on to talkedaboutmarketing.com. And the simplest thing, we've got a newsletter thing down the bottom. We don't spam you every fortnight. Just a few just different comes out. thoughts and tips that yep. people find, they tell me they find helpful. Which they are. Steve, what are you up to for the rest of the day? Um, oh, off to uh, Karunda tonight oh. for a 70th birthday celebration. Not mine. I hasten to add. Because you're using the because, uh, yes. Y Natural. You, you probably thought, oh, maybe you're 21st, Steve. There we go. <laughs>